The Gayatri Mantra is one of the most powerful mantras in all of the Vedas. Normally when you receive a mantra, you have to receive it from a, from a guru, from a teacher, from someone who has been authorized <laughs> to give you the mantra. There's actually students that go out and seek mantras and seek teachers to give them mantras. You can go and learn any mantra, but the real potency of the mantra comes from the teacher who gives it to you. Several thousand years ago, <laughs> the Himalayan sages, masters, uh, yogis, had their own version of a yoga conference. Somewhere, probably on Mount Kailash, <laughs> or in the Himalayan mountains. And they started to realize that the mantras, or the, the, really the culture, the Vedic tradition, was being lost. What they decided to do was they released two mantras, well, really three, but particularly two, that anybody could learn and pick up and receive the full benefits from. And so they had a big initiation. Whatever they did, anybody can access these two mantras and receive the full power and the blessings of the Himalayan tradition. And one of them is the Gayatri Mantra. One of my own teachers, Swami Rama, used to be the spiritual teacher for the Himalayan Institute. Uh, when he was first initiated into the Gayatri Mantra, his teacher told him to go to the banks on, on the Ganga near Varanasi, and he had to draw a circle and put his little thatched house there and build a little fire, keep it going, and practice this mantra. You know, you guys are doing it for five minutes every morning. The actual tradition, you're supposed to do it 2.4 million times. He's almost to the end of his practice, so he's been doing this for about eight months. By then, in India, whenever a, a, a person, you could go there yourself, shave your head, put some orange robes on, and meditate, and everybody will think you're in samadhi, and start to give you money <laughs> and ask you questions <laughs> and want things from you. This is what happened to him. All these people started to congregate. And one day he got really angry and he literally pushed somebody away. The next day he got a telegram from his teacher, Rama, start your practice again. <laughs> so he does his practice. About eight months later, he starts to get visited by this little dwarf. And the dwarf sits on the outside of the circle. He, you know, Swami Rama invites him in. He comes into the circle. Uh, then over time, he started to bring him sweets. And finally, Swami Rama is like, why is this little dwarf coming to me at two o'clock in the morning and bringing sweets? So he decides to ask the dwarf. It's like, there's no bakeries open. Where are you getting these things? Well, the dwarf wouldn't answer him. He just sit there and he reaches out to grab the dwarf to throttle him, and the dwarf disappears. The next day, he gets a telegram from his teacher. Rama, start your practice again. It's a really powerful practice, and he does the practice, and when he finishes it, he goes back to his master, and he says, now you are cured of all of your impatience and all of your samskaras and tendencies towards anger to realize that these mantras just do not have the power to transform ourselves, but they actually start to transform the world.